Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve a numerical problem for determining some unknown parameter for the given soil sample. So the problem states that a sample of saturated clay has a wet weight of 5 newton and a dry weight of 4 newton. If specific gravity is 2.70, then determine the water content, wide ratio, moisture unit weight, the dry unit weight and effect to unit weight for this soil sample. So we have to find out 5 unknown for this soil sample if we just know the dry weight, the wet weight and the specific gravity of the soil sample. So how to find out these all unknown? First of all, we know that we have some given data for this soil sample. Given data is that the wet weight of the soil it is 5 newton the dry weight of the soil is 4 newton and specific gravity of the soil which is represented by g is it is 2.70 now we can find we can start with some first unknown which is water content or the moisture content in this soil sample so to find out the moisture content or the water content it is always expressed in percentage so we can use this formula when we know the wet weight and the dry weight of the soil then we can use this formula the weight weight minus dry weight of the soil dividing by the dry weight multiplying with the hundred percent so we can find out our water content or the moisture content for the soil sample so the wet weight is 5 newton minus dry weight is 4 newton dividing it by dry weight which is also 4 newton multiplying it with the 100 percent so we got 25 percent so the moisture content or the water content for this soil sample is 25 percent now to find out the wide ratio the wide ratio is unknown to us so we can simply use this equation s into e is equal to the gs into W. Now we know that S is the degree of saturation and this soil sample it states that a sample of saturated clay. It means that S or the degree of saturation for this sample is 100% R1. This is the degree of saturation for this soil sample because it is state that it is a sample of saturated clay. So it means the degree of saturation is 1 for this soil sample. E is unknown to us g is known to us and also water content is known to us so we can find e from this equation by transferring this all values and is here so g is is 2.70 water content is 25 percent or we can say 0.25 and decimal dividing by s s is one here because it's, it is a saturated clay so by multiplying and dividing we got e equal to 0.675 this is the y ratio for this soil sample now how to find out the moisture unit weight gamma moisture where it is where it is 100 percent saturation so this is unknown to us now to find out the gamma moisture we know this equation of the gamma moisture that gamma moisture is equal to gamma dry into 1 plus W here we know the water content is 25 percent but we don't know the dry unit weight for this whole simple so we cannot use this equation because we have unknown of gamma dry so we can do some trick in order to find out this gamma moisture so what will be the trick we also know this formula gamma dry is equal to the g is gamma w dividing by 1 plus e so this is equation is used to find out the gamma dry dry unit weight for the soil sample in this formula we know all these factors g is 2.7 gamma w is the unit weight of the water which is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter it is a standard value e is also known to us so, so we can use this formula in order to find gamma dry or we can put this gamma dry 
from this equation we find out gamma dry from this like gamma dry will become gamma moisture divided by 1 plus W. We found out we derive this gamma dry from this equation by dividing gamma moisture by 1 plus W. So gamma dry is now gamma moisture into 1 plus W. Now we put this gamma dry here in, in place of this gamma dry. So this gamma dry will be equal to gamma moisture divided by 1 plus W. It is equal to the GS into gamma W into 1 plus E. So now all these values are known to us. So gamma moisture is GS gamma W divided by 1 plus E into 1 plus W. We just simply shift this value into the right side. So here we did a little trick in order to find out the gamma moisture. We know the two formulas gamma moisture is equal to this and then we know the gamma dry. So we found out the gamma dry from this equation here. It becomes gamma moisture divided by 1 plus W and then we put gamma dry here in place of this gamma dry we put the gamma moisture into 1 plus W and this remains the same. So we found out gamma moisture here by this formula. So now we know that G is, is 2.7 gamma W is the unit weight of the water which is a standard value it is 9.81 into 1 plus water content. Water content is 25% or 0 0.25 dividing by 1 plus E. E is 0.675. So gamma moisture by multiplying and dividing these all values we got 19.76 kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is the gamma moisture for the 100% saturation of the soil. Now how to find out the dry unit weight. So this will be the D. Dry unit weight is unknown. So simply we can use this equation. That This equation we can use now because gamma moisture is equal to gamma D, gamma dry or gamma D into 1 plus water content. Now we, we have to find gamma D. So gamma dry will be equal to gamma moisture dividing by 1 plus W. We just shift this 1 plus W to the left side so we found out gamma dry. Now gamma moisture is known to us which is 19.6. So gamma dry 19.6 is the gamma moisture dividing by 1 plus W. W is known to us which is 25 or 0.25. So by dividing this value we got gamma dry equal to 15.8 kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is the gamma dry or the dry unit weight for the soil sample. Now how to find out the effective unit weight or the submerged unit weight of the soil sample? It is very easy. The submerged unit weight or the effective unit weight for the soil sample is equal to the gamma moisture or gamma saturated minus gamma W. So gamma effective is equal to gamma moisture we know it is 19.76 minus gamma W which is 9.81. It is a standard value gamma W. So gamma effective comes out to be 9.95 kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is the way how to find out the all unknown. We have five unknown just with the three known data. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.